Hey, what's up you guys? So I'm out here in my backyard with my dog and she does not hear. She's completely deaf. Well, I think she can hear a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. But you can teach a dog, a deaf dog tricks. And they're actually very compliant. So I want to see what I can actually do and see if she can actually pay attention. She does a couple of things. So the key to this is treats. So to me, it's all about hand signals, using your hand signals since the dog cannot hear. This is sit. I go down here, she sits. Down and sit. She sits. The second one here that I do is stay. 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 And she usually stays. So the last one here is come. So by come, I just put my hand to my knee and I, that's how I tell her to come. And usually she'll come and then sit. she usually sit. And the last one is big. Sit and then rip and then beg. And that's how she usually begs. Come, sit, stay big those are pretty much just the basics you know just the basic commands that every dog should learn I guess but um yes you can teach a deaf dog and they're very compliant and what's cool about deaf dog is that they don't hear which means that they won't bark usually because they're deaf and they won't bark at sirens they won't bark at loud noises and for 4th of July it's really nice having a dog that's not scared of fireworks it's really nice and um, yeah, if you're ever wondering, should I get a death dog, by all means get one because you know what, there's nothing different about her. I actually find it better actually. She can't hear. There are commands, you know, I can't have her without a leash on when we're out on the street because if she doesn't have a leash and she's far away, I can't really command her to stay. I have to go like, come here. So. I don't recommend having a death dog without a leash, but um, I don't know. I might, be, I might be wrong, so I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, that is Daisy and her commands. What's up you guys, so I'm out here at my old, old um, elementary school and it's so crazy to go back in time and uh, I'm out here because sometimes you, for me, I go back and I look back into what happened in my life and I look back at the things that, memories and, and what I learned and, and how can I you know, learn from my mistakes. And I'm out here because it, it reminisces of all the, the things that I had in my childhood. I had an amazing childhood and I really appreciate the memories that I have. And sometimes I like coming back here and just, you know, reminiscing, you know, where I come from. And I think that's very important to know where, where you come from and who you are, you know. I, it's very valuable, you know. Some, some people, you know, had a, terrible past and some people had an amazing past but in general generally as for me you know I like to go back and you know 
look at my roots and who am I as 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 a person, you know, and you all, I also look at, you know, you know, my ethnicity and my race and and look at, you know, who who we are, you know. And bef bef before you know who you are, you also have to know, you know, where you're coming from, you know, and I think that's a very important thing. You know, know your roots, you know, for me as a Mexican American you know, individual, I like to express that as much as I can because it's, it's part of me. You know, if you're Irish, if you're English, if you're Canadian, if you're African American, if you're Japanese American, you know, Chinese American, or any kind of race other than American, you know, it's internationally, you know, and express that, you know, don't be scared and don't be afraid of what others might say because of who you are, you know, this is the color of your skin, this is who you are. And I value that. I value when individuals can value who they are, you know. You know, you are who you are, but you also have a background behind you. And I think that should be expressed, you know. I always look at different ways of expression. And, um, yeah, it's, it's beautiful to come out here in my old elementary school and look back at the memories and uh, look at just everything, man. Everything seems so smaller now that I look at it. But it's, it's beautiful. And uh, don't take memories for granted, man. Some of them stay in here. And some of them are out in space. And some of them are in your memory cards or in film. But the most important ones are the ones in here. So don't always, don't forget that. Cause I wanna...